So we have the equation 1 plus 1. The answer to this is really simple. All you gotta do is just count your fingers. Well, it turns out you don't have fingers in Minecraft, so on to plan B. Make it an overly complicated device to do simple tasks. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, CT5K here, and today we are continuing our series on how to make hex computers in Minecraft. We covered how to build hex wiring in episode 1 and covered the three main types of hex memory in episode 2. Today we are going over how to build an ALU using hexadecimal. Now for those of you who don't know what an ALU is, it stands for Arithmetic Logic Unit. Basically this is a fancy way of saying it's a calculator. ALUs are crucial when it comes to building a PC because without it, your computer would not be able to manipulate properly. So you might be thinking to yourself, so is an ALU just another word for a CPU? And the answer to that is no, an ALU is not a CPU, but they are very similar. The biggest difference is that a CPU has a control unit, whereas the ALU can only do math. That being said, an ALU is a subsystem of a CPU. Now you've heard me ranting on and on about what an ALU is, it's time to begin building one. I recommend that you watch this portion of the video a couple of times so that you can get an adequate understanding of how these circuits work and how to build them. When it comes to building an ALU, you will without a doubt hear of the word gate. That's because all ALUs are based upon gates. Whether they are not gates, AND gates, OR gates, or the overpowered dark OR gate. That last one was a joke, by the way. A gate is simply a way to test if variable A is in a certain state. For example, the NOT gate tests if variable A is on or off. It is, if it is off, then the output is NOT off. If the input is ON, then the output is NOT ON. In hexadecimal, the most common ALU comparator mode is subtraction, because we like to take away the spotlight from binary redstoners. See what I did there? But in reality, both binary and hex ALUs are based off of the NOT gate, However, they're slightly different depending on what system you're on. To build a NOT gate in binary, you will need to place a block here, followed by a torch, and then you will place a redstone dust anywhere your input is. To build a NOT gate in hex, you will need to place down a torch, followed by a comparator in front of it, and then set it to subtraction mode. Then your inputs are either this side or this side right here. So you might be thinking to yourself, so how does this gate work like this? How this gate works is 15 minus whatever this side input is. This makes it a NOT because if we convert the hex signals to binary and then invert them, then we will get the same answer. While the NOT gate is great, there isn't really a whole lot you can do with it. Sure, you can toggle things on and off, but if we have a computer that can just NOT things, then we really, in reality, just have a flip-flop. So what else can we add to make our computer interesting? Well, why don't we add an add circuit? If we could add two numbers together, then we can do so much more than if we could just toggle things on and off. So let's get down to building one. Since comparators can't add, we're going to have to get creative when we want to do addition in redstone hexadecimal. The simplest way is to use what is called inverted addition. So what we do is we take the highest value possible, which is 15 in hex, and subtract that number with that number minus the variables. To show you an example, if you wanted to add 1 plus 1, like at the beginning of the video, then the equation would be 15 minus 15 minus 1 minus 1, which turns into 15 minus 13, which is equal to 2. So this add circuit is not of my own design. I will link the video I watched it in in the top right-hand corner, in case you guys want to check that out after you finish watching this video. To build this circuit, first we are going to build a NOT gate, like this. And then instead of just placing a redstone dust right here, we'll place a comparator. Then we'll place a block right here, followed by another comparator, also in subtraction mode, comparator. And then we'll make one final NOT gate right here. So how this works are the two variables go in here and here, and the output is right here. In short, this part is the 15 minus A minus B, and this part is the 15 minus 15 minus A minus B. So while there is the issue that the output can't be higher than 15, this circuit is quite possibly the smallest add circuit in Minecraft and is great for building a ALU. So for this video, I'm going to be using the ALU from the RPC-1 as sort of the guideline to the other ALUs. 
However, there are infinite ways of making an ALU, so I do encourage you guys to experiment with these ALUs to find one that fits your style. To build the RPC's ALU, we're going to create a NOT gate for variable A. Well, we could create an ALU that looks like this, but this is very bulky and is highly unnecessary. Instead, we're going to destroy this line. So now we are just left with the add circuit right here. And then we're going to place a piece of redstone dust, followed by a block, and then followed by a comparator. This is the NOT gate because, as you can see right here, we have a NOT gate right here. So this is not A right here. Now we're just going to connect the NOT gate to the add gate by placing a block here and a redstone dust here. Now our ALU has two functions, add and not. This is so much more powerful because we can do so much more than if we just had the add circuit or the NOT circuit. If we add some wiring for the variables, we can do NOT A, NOT A plus B, NOT A plus B, not B, not B plus B, A plus B, and A minus B, just to list some examples. Now that we have our ALU, it's time to build what I call the core of a redstone computer. This is essentially our computer, but we do not have a control unit, so we will have to control everything by hand. When I design a computer, I always start off with building the ALU, because to me, it's the most important component. So let's go ahead and make an ALU. So we will come over here, and we will place a comparator, followed by a redstone torch like this, turn it into subtraction mode, and then place a comparator here, place a block, and then place two comparators, one facing this way, and one facing this way. Turn this one to subtraction mode, and then come over one block, and place another comparator. Turn it to subtraction mode, and place a torch. This creates the add circuit to our ALU. Then we'll come to this block, place a redstone dust here, and then another block, and then we'll come over here, place a comparator going this way, and then place a redstone dust and block. And there is our ALU. Now we have our ALU, it's time to build something to store the output from that ALU. So I'm going to come over here and build a type 3 wire. You can use a type 1 or type 2 wire, it really doesn't matter. All you need to do is make this output move a little ways that way. So we're going to place a block here, then a comparator, block, dust, block, comparator, block, dust, block, and then we're going to place a comparator, then we'll place another block and create a simple register to store the output. Now that we can save the output, we need to create something to save the two inputs for the ALU to manipulate with. So let's go over to the ALU again, and then we're going to build two type 2 wires leading out a little ways and splitting off. So we'll place a dust, and then a comparator, and then a dust, and then a comparator, and then a dust, and another comparator. And we will do the same over here, place a dust, then place a comparator, place a dust, then place a comparator, place another dust, and place one final comparator. Now we have the wires, let's go over to each wire and create a simple output register. We'll place it like that, and then we'll come over to the other side and do the same with placing a block here and here, placing comparators going in opposite directions, and two pieces of redstone dust. If we want our computer to do calculations besides A plus B and not A, we're going to need to connect this output to these two inputs. So let's make a type 3 wire coming from this to these two. So we'll come over here and place a piece of redstone dust, followed by a block, comparator, block, dust, block, comparator, block, dust. Then we'll turn and go a little bit further this way, and then go straight to these. So a block, comparator, block, dust. Block, comparator, block, dust. Block, comparator, block, dust. Block, comparator, block, dust. Now we have a circuit going this way. We're going to need to tap this circuit right here and extend this circuit all the way over to here. So let's continue our type 3 wire. So since there's a dust here, we'll need to do comparator, block, dust, block, comparator. Then we will come over here and do block, comparator, block, dust, block, 
comparator, block, dust. Block, comparator, block, dust. Block and comparator. This is the foundation of a computer, but at the moment we cannot control this, either by hand or by using a decoder. So let's begin making the control gates. To create a control gate, you must set a comparator to subtraction mode and then give it a signal of 15. This will prevent any data from going further down the line. So let's create a control gate for the AND circuit by placing a dust here and a comparator. This will prevent the AND circuit from outputting. And then let's create a control gate by converting this to subtraction mode, placing a dust and then a torch to prevent the NOT gate from outputting. If we don't want this output register to flood these two input registers, then we're going to need to create a control circuit for this line right here. So let's go over to this comparator, turn it to subtraction mode, place a dust, and add another torch. So now let's create two control circuits for this variable and this variable so that both aren't set at the same time. So since we can't use a redstone dust because if we place this then it's feeding off of this register, let's place a Peter and then let's place a torch right here. And then we'll come over then we'll come over to the other one turn to subtraction mode, place a repeater, and then place another torch. To finish everything off, let's come over to each of the gates, turn one of their comparators to subtraction mode, and create a control gate so that way we can so that way we can wipe registers if we so choose. However, these cannot always be on because if they are on, then they will not set. So this is only to be used when we are wiping a register. So we'll come over to this, and then we'll turn this to subtraction mode, place a dust and a torch, and then come over to the other one, turn it to subtraction mode, dust and torch. And there we have it, the finished core. To use this core, we're going to come over to here and give an input. Then we will go along this line up to register A and allow it to be set. Then we'll come back over to the input and adjust it a little bit, then follow the line again and come and allow register B to be set. And then we will come over here and allow the add circuit to output. The output register has been saved. Then we will allow the line to fill the main line. Then we'll come over to register A and allow it to be raised higher. And we'll come over here, prevent the output register from going into the two input registers, and repeat the process. So that is it for today's video. I will be leaving this as a world download so that you guys can have a working design to experiment with. Join us next time where we will be going over how to build a decoder and finally finish this computer that we have been working on. If you enjoy watching content like this, then do consider subscribing. According to YouTube Analytics, you've already heard this, so I'm not going to waste your time. All I'm going to say is that we are on the road to 1 million subscribers, and we have about 1 million subscribers to go. So if you enjoy content like this, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to show off your resident creation, have a question about a design, or simply just want to hang out, then do make sure to join my Discord server. The link to that will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and have a fantastic day.